in this video I'm going to be talking about the narcissist on a totally different level this video is for only those particular people who's out there who are wondering on what they are really up against beyond the natural mind and what they are really dealing with so far to the point to where it cross over to the supernatural and what they are really dealing with from another reality beyond the secular world and another realm beyond carnal and even what they are dealing with spiritually. In the secular world, this type of behavior is known as narcissistic, but in another realm of reality, beyond the understanding of some or maybe most men of their psychological knowledge, the name for this behavior in the supernatural realm of reality is much more bigger and active and of power and of telepathy frequency beyond the channels of the carnal world or of any technology that have been logically exposed or discovered by any mankind of the physical reality. Within this narcissist, there is something that's governing this person towards you and against you that's putting this person under total influence under its telepathic power through its own communication only through the channels of the narcissist have subconsciously opened up the doors of their minds to within the narcissist that warfare that is invisible to the carnal eye and can't be seen is what you are really being under attack by the narcissists are channeled in on a totally different frequency than what we are there is an evil force from the dark world that is run by a high-ranking spiritual being and that's an evil spiritual being who been here no telling how long before mankind, even before the creation of life on earth, or maybe earth itself. This is the headquarters of the demonic realm that the narcissists operate from. The narcissist is only just the host. But the part that you are really dealing with in this narcissist knows your weaknesses, your pain, your fear, and knows the power of witchcraft and can put power of death and maybe even curses and wicked words in the narcissist's tongue. The narcissist is being an evil vessel in a way from the evil forces of the world of darkness. This is where everything of the narcissist in the secular world mind is influenced from. That evil force that dwell within the narcissist been studying you throughout your childhood and all through your adult life. That's why if you ever notice to yourself that a narcissist, and it only seemed to be a narcissist that can say things to you, that can bring you back to your childhood hurts, and even if it's a member of a family, it seemed to be that they know the deepest wounds that had personally hurt you as far as anyone could ever know, even close family members. And it seemed to be that this narcissist know things that can bring your mind back on all the past hurts and failures that you had used to beat yourself up over time before and things that you once feel guilty about why is that why is that it seemed to be that you feel like the narcissist knew you all your life this is because the forces that are within the narcissist is communion with familiar spirits it's part of the high-ranking forces in the world of darkness when every time you are dealing with that narcissist there's something in the narcissist that is dealing with you directly through them from the dark world if you take a look and take a deeper look and see the traits of this narcissist with spiritual discernment you will see something that's far beyond 
than what the human eyes can see. You'll see how far dangerous this can be dealing with this person. This thing that dwells within the narcissist is very much out to get you and it's out to destroy you from inside of you on out. Beware. You only not dealing with the carnal person, but you are dealing with a force that's operating in power from something far beyond our knowledge of understanding. There are many things that are real that we can't see and it's working in its way of a narcissist operating from this dark world. And whenever this person say harmful words over you, they can turn into harmful attacks through witchcraft upon your mind. It's like in a feeling of voodoo. That's why if you ever notice, it's like a tape recorder that plays in your head over and over again, giving you uncontrollable thoughts. Something had happened to you through this person that had been transported from a spiritual world of darkness and your mind can't concentrate anymore on the things you normally focus on. Your imagination starts to go wild. You start to feel like you lose it, the identity of your soul, most definitely your mind. The cause of some of these attacks upon you through the carnal flesh and blood of this narcissist is done mostly upon your mind from the power of the evil spirits from the spiritual realms. This evil spirit uses some of the supernatural spiritual laws of creation to its advantage to have it work against you and most definitely to have you work it against yourself subconsciously. Another terminology that some people go by is the vibrations of the universe or the law of attraction but from a spiritual perspective it's the spiritual law that God put out there to give you power upon your faith and to build upon your belief this evil spirit used this to work against you by speaking harmful words over you and to make you feel beneath yourself and to stir up your sanity into confusion about yourself through the work of manipulation and the power of witchcraft up on your mind, allowing you to believe things about yourself that's not even true in the natural reality. Feeding your subconscious these things to make these thoughts your reality into the natural reality. Within this narcissist, the type of power you are up against is much more spiritual than anything you dealt with in the carnal reality and mankind and the most high power ranking evil spirit that is combined with many more other evil spirits is ranked very high in the spiritual realm and the name of this evil spirit that governed the narcissist influenced through a telepathic frequency that is spiritually transparent in the secular world is called the Jezebel spirit Be very aware of this evil spirit because this is one of the most dangerous, deadly spirit that work through this narcissist. This evil spirit can most definitely lead you to severe destruction. Even in the case of causing you severe mental trauma, you will start noticing that you will start picking up all the bad feelings that the narcissist was suffering from and every bad thing that they think of themselves. You will start picking it up as well. Even on how they feel about life and view life from their negative perspective, you will start noticing you begin to feel just like them. Why is this? 
This is because the spiritual energy is started to project itself into you through a spiritual soul tie and most definitely through sex. Slowly but surely, you begin to become as one, exchanging each other's souls with one another. The more you content with this person, the more you start to feel stress, depression, a feeling of confusion, anger, rage, jealousy, fear, a feeling of rejection, a feeling of intimidation, inferior, even unbearable thoughts of no escape, dark emptiness that can make it feel like the only way to lead your mind out through this torment is through suicidal thoughts. It always been a mystery in the spiritual world on how any evil and demonic spiritual beings from the spiritual world react into our secular world through physical activities. Mind radio channels that only our thoughts can pick up on and paranormal activities to make contact to any physical mask outside of matter itself. What caused these people to be a target to be swept up to the dark side as Satan took a third of the angels with him? Are they really directed step by step by this evil force? Or are they doing their deeds by their free will from the darkness of their heart? So whenever you have defeated and make no contact to your previous narcissist, and even close that chapter of your life. Will it be that same evil spirit will just only find its way to another person who's already a host to this evil spirit to search its way back to you on already learn and study the areas you grew strong at just to only come back even more deceiving and manipulative and clever than your previous narcissists. In the spiritual realm, you never know who's watching you and in numbers of amount as they observe. Since you're not joining them and they either can't control you, then they rather just destroy you. Who knows who gonna be the next narcissist that gonna come around? Who knows how they going to look like, how they going to even sound like, or talk, just beware. Because a face, just only a mask, and a body, just only a costume, you will know a tree by its fruits. Test the spirit, and you decide. <laughs>